This video details how to install the decking and insulation on a fiberglass roof. It's part two of a five part series, where part one covered health and safety, part three covers edge trim insulation, part four laminating, and part five top coat application. You can purchase resin library roofing kits in a range of sizes. Simply click the link in the, in the description below. So this video will essentially show the base layer installation of timber decking, followed by PIR insulation and a second layer of timber decking. This is a warm flat roof design. We'll assume that you have wooden joists in good condition and already installed. A slope is always added to a flat roof. This is to ensure that rainwater does not pool on the roof and instead drains away towards the gutter system. Note the fall should never be less than 1 in 80, so 0.72 degrees and preferably about 1 in 40, about 1.44 degrees. A slope can be achieved by including furrings and adding them into the joists to aid runoff. A furring is a thin strip of timber that has been cut along its length diagonally so that it tapers, with one end deeper than the other. Furrings are used in the construction of flat roofs to create a fall ensuring that water runs to the lower side and towards the gutter system. Secure the fascias in place around the perimeter of the roof using polytop nails. This example shows the use of white ones, but there are some other options that can be colour coded to the fascia. For the fascia corners, it's a good idea to use an adhesive to connect the two fascia joints together, as you can see. Wooden decking is used to create a solid base for the fiberglass roofing membrane and is also used to secure the insulation in place. In general, there's three types of decking. The Centron Plywood, OSB3 8x4 timber decking and OSB3 8x2 TNG timber decking. There are several benefits to each of these types. Probably the easiest to use is the OSB3 8x2 TNG timber decking. This doesn't require any sanding, doesn't require a primer, doesn't require any decking joint bandages and any board expansion gap in between each decking sheet. The TNG also stands for tongue and groove so that each board can be easily clipped together. So the next step centers on timber decking installation. Make sure you orient this in accordance with the instructions written on the timber decking surface. As you can see, this one says this side down. Note that an expansion gap should be created between the wall and the decking. This is to accommodate expansion and contraction of the roofing structure in response to temperature conditions. The industry standard is typically 25 millimeters. Place the timber decking boards perpendicular to the direction of the joists. As you can see, the OSB3 timber decking layers can be clipped together via the tongue and groove mechanism. As you're adding the layers of timber, it's a good idea to mark out the location of the wooden joists underneath. This is so you know the position of the joists underneath the decking and you can install the ring shank nails into the timber decking and drive the nails directly through down into the joists. So this concludes the first layer of timber decking. We'll next move on to the insulation layer and then we'll follow up that with the second layer of timber decking. Place the insulation boards directly onto the first layer of timber decking you don't need to secure these in place with anything, just make sure in the right location. Place the second layer of timber decking directly onto the PIR insulation layer. As with the first layer, these boards clip together via the TNG tongue and groove mechanism. Also make sure you've marked out the position of the joists in the second layer of timber decking. 
This is so that you know where to put the screws in to secure them into place. This time use 7.5mm Torx concrete screws and aim to use 15 to 21 per board with approximately 200mm spacing. These screws should penetrate through the top layer of timber decking, through the insulation and base layer of timber decking and into the joists below. So this video concludes the installation of furrings, two layers of timber decking, with PIR insulation sandwiched in between. So we're now ready to install the edge trims. This video is for general informational purposes only, it does not constitute construction advice. Resin Library is not liable for any outcomes. Use of information linked to this video is at the user's own risk content in this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional advice. Users should not disregard in obtaining professional advice.